one of the main things you need to know is directions and how you get places because it's not all that easy. Number one, this is the map you're provided by the wildlife organization and it is very difficult to read and really tiny. It is fairly accurate. If you get a nice big professional one, the ones we've seen are all inaccurate. So a lot of the landmarks you're looking for are not in the correct place here. Making things much harder is the fact that the permanent signs that are on these little concrete blocks painted in green on the ground are often pointing the exact opposite direction. I know it's mind boggling. So what we have found to be the most accurate is to use Google Maps before you get here, download the Zimbabwe map, download it completely, make sure it's downloaded completely. Then when you're here, turn on your GPS and you, and it's good for several of you in the car to have this just as backups. You're going to put in the closest landmark to your assigned water source. So in our case, the Nahimba Lodge is the closest thing to Nahimba Seeps. So we put in Nahimba Lodge and it took us right here very accurately actually. Um, and then you'll need to ask one of our wildlife guides the night before when we're all going through orientation. Once I get to that nearest landmark, then what do I just... Usually, once you get to a landmark, there's really, you know, turn left for three kilometers, that kind of thing. Um, so, anyway, I hope that helps.